Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch one of our quick help videos on the Imageware Systems Epi Builder software. In this video, we will be demonstrating designing an Epi badge template. Very important, please watch the Epi overview and installation videos prior to watching this video. Next, click the Start button and Programs, and click on the Activate Runtime and Activate Designer to verify the runtime and designer licenses are activated. If they are activated, the Client License Manager screens will be populated and display the serial numbers. If you are prompted to enter a serial number, this means the licenses are not activated. Next, if the License Manager screens displays red text, this means the license was originally activated but was deactivated due to a hardware change or license expiration. If this occurs, you must contact Imageware Systems to reset the license and then reactivate it again. First, launch the CA4K software and log in. Next, click System, System Settings, and Workstation Settings. Next, select Enable Badging System and select Badging 4K. If you are not installing EpiBuilder software and want to use only photos in personnel, you must select Photos only. For our video, please select Badging 4K. Next, and choose your badging printer from the list. Very important, prior to selecting your badging printer, you must install the badging printer in Windows and print a test card from Windows. There are also a few other important notes regarding the badging printer. In addition to selecting the printer in System Settings, you must also select the printer in the template. Again, very important, you must select the printer in the template. If the printer changes, you must go back into the templates and reselect the printer. Also, under the printer settings in the template, you must specify the orientation of the badge. You must select Portrait or Landscape. This must be configured in two places. Next, click Save and then Close. In the Epi Designer, there are many settings to configure. In this short video, it is impossible to cover all the settings. In the Continental Document Library, you can find an Imageware Systems version 6.9 Epi Designer document. Except for the few Continental screens, Almost all information in this document applies. Before starting the demonstration, I would like to explain a few types of controls in the designer. In the following demonstration, some of these controls will be used to create a badge template. The first type of controls we will discuss are static controls. Static controls, such as a static text control, is used when you type in the text. Next. Dynamic text controls are used when you point to a field in the database to retrieve text, such as first name or last name. In regard to images, the same applies. Static images are imported from your hard drive, and dynamic images are retrieved from the database. In the designer, the icons for these controls are displayed across the top. Next. We will provide a demonstration created by our Continental National Trainer. It contains designing a badge template, previewing and printing the template. At the end of that demonstration, we will provide a few comments. Let's start by making a template for a card. So I'll go to Administration. I will go to Photo ID. I will go to Design Cards and click. That will bring up my badge designer, Badging 4K. Then I'll go to my workspace here. You'll see it's going sideways. I want it to be vertical. So what I'm going to do is click on that and go to Properties. So I'll right click, go to Properties, left click. Then I can look at the front or the back of the card. The front workspace is here. I'll select Portrait instead of Landscape. Landscape is sideways. 
portrait is vertical. Portrait. Then I'll apply it. You'll see it'll go to vertical. Then that's a normal card size. So I can have things on the page header and footer. I'm not going to bother with that right now. But I am going to put in a background color, something neutral. And then I'm going to load a background image. So I'm going to load in a background image. So I'll look uh, at something with a white cover over it uh, to make it less contrasty. There's something with a white cover over it. I'll apply that. You can see that there is a picture there with a white mat over it. So it has very low contrast and doesn't detract from the, the print on the card so that it makes it uh, uh, less distracting. And then I'm going to fade it some, 20%. I'll apply that, and it fades a little bit. You don't see it much, but it fades a bit. Then from there, I've got my background set up pretty well. So I'm going to keep going on designing the basic template. So the first thing I will do is I will look at my different design objects so I can make this bigger, zoom in, or zoom out. If I zoom in, it makes it a little too big for my workspace, so I'm going to zoom back out. This gives me my arrow, and I can select things with it. Uh, this is a line. It just simply draws a line. So I select it, draw a line. There's a line. And then I can back out with undo or redo or undo. Then uh, if I want to draw a rectangle, here's a rectangle. A rectangle with rounded edges. An oval, which can be turned into a circle by hitting the uh, control key, I believe. Um, there we have static text, and I'm going to make some static text. So I'm going to click on static text. I'm going to draw a box down here. And that box is going to want some stat. I'm going to want some static text in it. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to text. I'm going to change that text. And I'm going to make it say employee. E employee. Then I want to change the font. I'm going to make it bold. So I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And I want it to be Western's fine for the script. That's OK. It's good. We're all right there. I want to change the color to red so it's very visible. I'll apply it. You see it says employee in big letters down there. So that should be fine to denote that this is an employee badge. So we've got that. So we put some static text in. Now we do need to put in some dynamic text, and we'll do that in a moment. But first, I'm going to put in a static image, um, sorry, a dynamic image. The dynamic image will be a photo of the employee. So I'll put in this photo of the employee here. So we'll make it about that big, like so. Maybe a little bit smaller, Boop, right there. OK, and I'm going to give myself a little headroom there to put a header on top. And I'm going to decide where I want that. Try to line that up in the center as much as possible. Good. And things do tend to line themselves up center align with text in the boxes themselves. That's what that's for. It does not line everything up uh, in there, although I can draw a shape around these and get them to align if I want to. So now I need to put a photograph in there just for a placeholder. So I'm going to go into properties here. Just so you can see what I'm doing, I am going to put in a sample image. So I'm going to load in a sample image. I'm going to get a picture of a pretty young lady. There's a better image. I think that should work better. There. 
that's a good image okay we've got our image in there our sample image this is not the image that you'll see this will be loaded in from the employee record okay so we have our employee image in there now let's put in a name so I'm going to put in a, some dynamic text so I'll put in a dynamic text box here That dynamic text box needs to have a name in it. So we'll go to properties. We'll put in the text. We'll look for a data field for that. That would be a person would be the person's first name. And we'll put one more in the person's last name. And I did leave something out there. I need to make those so that I'll show you what I needed to do here. I needed to put text. This will be the last name. Middle name, last name there. Okay, and then I'm automatically going to reduce the font to fit. The person has a very long name, will want the font to adjust itself to fit the size of the box so that the name isn't cut off. And then I'll go back to this box, right click go to properties remember right click to go to properties always on these go to text go to automatically reduce font to fit apply or just say okay and now we've got the person's first name and last name we'll readjust this a little bit to get it a bit straighter and pretty close here there we go and that should work okay now we have the person's first and last Put it up here and my picture is going to be a lot bigger than my box so I'm going to have to reduce that down so what I'm going to do is I will get this here and put it in see that's much larger so I'm going to start reducing that down and moving it over and reducing it down and moving it over until I finally get it a usable size and then it'll edit it down to fit there. That should be better, a little too large still. Then I've got a logo there that I just put in. I can put it in that way or I can make it as a header as well. So now I've got my little header. I've got my employee picture. Line that up a little different about there. The first and last name and uh, um, the identity that they are an employee. And if I'm worried about things not being quite lined up well enough, I could make that a bit bigger so I can see with a little more detail. Yes, they are lined up pretty well, and they're lined up into end a little bit screwy, so I'll get that there. I'll put this here. And that should be about right. So I'll save it. File, save as, save as. I'll make a name up for this template. It will be template employee. Three. Okay, save it. So I should have myself an employee template there. Then when I go to personnel and I go to photo, then I should be able to see it as a template. And there it is, temp 
employee template template employee three it is saved and ready to go we're here in personnel and i will show you how to print the card so we're at a cardholder record the cardholder record is card badge number 956 uh, I have card for the first name and last name is 956 this so we have card 956 we'll go to the photo tab I will show you how I got the picture in here I'll go to photo capture I will go to either uh, HP desk chat 3 uh, 630 Twain which would be something I have or your camera listed here that would be your capture product that you'd use to take the pictures with I'm going to use load image from file on my hard drive because I'm going to use a picture from my hard drive so I'm going to say okay I'm going to reselect that picture that I used before there it is there's the picture I say okay that's acceptable it goes into the photo box I could capture a signature on a signature pad and add that down on the signature line here I'm not going to at this time so um, I could also uh, clear the image if I needed to and uh, move on here then I'd go to the template that I want to use my template will be template employee 3 which I just made so we'll make sure that template employee 3 is there there it is template employee 3 then I'm going to go to printing task the printing task and I'll have to move back up to see that would be print preview so you can see what it will be the print preview will show me the card and there's my card my graphics on top her picture is in the center there the card 956 would be the first and last name and employee is emblazoned at the bottom just like I'd set it up now I could remove that box if I wanted to um, but I left it in there because I wanted to highlight that that is in um, a word and uh, and I wanted you to see employee as being very uh, prominent on that that card so if I wanted to print I could then go to print and send it off to my selected printer and that pretty much sums it up you've got a card again in this short video it is impossible to cover all the functions available in the epi builder software for instance one function we did not discuss is using expressions. One very basic example of using an expression is to concatenate a first and last name together. Expressions are explained in detail in the Imageware Systems version 6.9 Epi Designer document. This concludes this quick help video on the Epi Builder software and designing a badge template. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.